Hey guys, what's going on? This is going to be my first Black Ops 2 commentary. If you hear any screaming in the background, that's not somebody getting murdered. That's Shane and his friend playing uh, Black Ops 2, you know, going, Ah, I killed that guy, or holy shit, did you see that? It's not somebody getting murdered, so, uh, yeah, don't worry about that. But, uh, well, that sounded a little fishy, but let's get into the good stuff. Black Ops 2, picked this game up at midnight, been playing it a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the maps are pretty chaotic, really fast-paced. A little bit, I'll, I'll be honest, they're pretty frustrating when you first start playing because they're different. The maps are the, the maps are designed like Modern Warfare 3. They're very tight and action-packed, but they're designed better than Modern Warfare 3. There's there's power positions. The power there aren't any like super OP power positions, but there's definitely power positions. There's definitely room for smart play, and I don't think it's going to be as bad as Modern Warfare 3. Now I know um, I don't know. I'm trying to be pessimistic because I don't want to be like. Oh my god, this game is awesome, baby, 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 and it, and it, you know, never turns out to be awesome, but I think this game has a lot better, like, a lot more potential than Modern Warfare 3 did. The, the second I played Modern Warfare 3 and got maps like Lockdown and Sea town I was like, dude, this game blows. These maps suck. The, there's, like, three good maps. With this game, there's a few maps I don't like. There's the train station map that I don't think I will ever like, no matter what, but... I'm taking this all with a grain of salt because I did not used to like the, the map firing range. When I first started playing Call of Duty, I hated the map firing range. And now it's my favorite map in Call of Duty ever. So, you know, things change once you figure it out a little bit. But, uh, I don't know, I, li I like the kill streaks in this game too. You saw that uh, that airplane I just threw at that dude like uh, about 30 seconds ago? That's a hunter killer drone. Uh, it's a kill streak. That, it's an airplane. You throw it, and it will lock onto somebody. If you tar, if you have like somebody in your targets, it will like direct hit them, and it's, it's fucking cool, dude. And that's another thing I really like about this game. The kill streaks are good. Now in Modern Warfare 3, the assault kill streaks were fucking garbage, just awful. That nobody even hardly used them. Everybody used support and specialist. This game, I like that the kill streak, killing people in a streak, is fucking back. As in, there's no more welfare multi-kills, no more fucking EMPs that take no skill to get, no more of that shit. And the kill streaks are good. Hunter killer drone, you're gonna get one to two kills with that bad boy. Uh, stealth chopper, I got my first stealth chopper in this game, I got like six kills with that bad boy. Uh, they're good. And I heard the dogs, they rip people apart. Uh, man, there's just some cool kill- oh, look at that right there, that's something I, I forgot to point out. Uh, if you don't have a secondary, you can switch to your knife. I believe you might be able to switch to your knife even if you do have a secondary. But you saw that I switched to my knife, and that allows me to knife faster. You can also still knife with the normal, uh, uh, like, knife button. But if you can, you can actually switch to your knife and knife really, really quickly. I end up picking up my stealth chopper with that. And uh, that's a pretty cool little design that, you know, if you do switch to your knife, you're going to be better at knifing than if you just panic knife. So that's pretty cool. Um, I noticed the panic knife lunge. It doesn't seem quite as as bad. I have been I have been knife lunged, but I think that's only from people that have switched to their knife. So, yeah, see me right here. Um, sorry, this commentary is all over the place. This spot on the map right here, really, really good. The, this little uh, this little area that I'm sort of in, it's a really good spot because you have a look down on both spawns. Uh, I heard a scream right there. You have a look down on both spawns. Pretty well protected. Uh, just good shit, man, especially since I'm running a loadout that has two fucking bouncing Bettys. I can protect myself pretty well right there, so, um, yeah. And you see my UAVs getting assists. That actually fucks me over right here, because I think I kill a dude. See this? I shoot this guy, and I got a, I got a UAV assist right when I thought I killed him, and I switched to the other guy, and he wasn't dead. That was just shitty timing, though. But, uh, yeah, god, I like that. I really like that. The, the snowball effect is definitely present in this game. With my stealth chopper, if you go back and look when I got my stealth chopper, the kills from that stealth chopper nearly got me to my first UAV. So can you imagine, man? You you get dogs. Your dogs might get you to your hunter killer drone. And then that hunter killer drone might help you get to something else. And the kill streaks keep going and keep going and keep going. I love that. I like the, the I like that it's doing that. That was the one thing that pissed me off in Black Ops where I, I got my dogs and then it's just like, well fuck! I think I'll simtex myself. So, that's definitely an upgrade, you know, that's one of the things from Modern Warfare 3 that I said, do it. Please bring that back, please bring back the kill streaks that keep resetting and keep going. Uh, yeah, just, uh, I, I like that a lot about this game, it's, it's pretty cool. So, what else do I want to say? Um, 
this gameplay is getting ready to wrap up here in a second. Yeah, I think it is. But overall, Black Ops 2, a little bit frustrating. I, I'm not going to lie and say it's like completely, you know, amazing and not ever frustrating ever. But it is getting better. As you figure out the maps, as you learn where the spawns are, where not to go, where to go, uh, how to avoid dying, it gets better. It's been getting a lot better for me since, it, since last night. And uh, yeah, so... Look forward to some more Black Ops 2 videos. Uh, hopefully some better Black Ops 2 videos. I know I was all over the place in that in this commentary. So I'll try to work on that. And I will see you guys next time.